It's June 2nd. And it is beautiful. I just got off work. It's gorgeous outside. The weather is so nice. It would be a crime to stay indoors on a day like today. Howdy. How's it going? All right, how you doing? <laughs> Joey on board. Oh my gosh, I have my first fan. Ha. What, where did you see me from Facebook? Uh, no, I uh, I watch catfish and carp a lot. Catfish what? Catfish and carp. Is that another YouTube channel? Yeah. And you saw me post? Yeah, yeah, it just came up underneath. I was like, it said something about a quiet harbor, so I checked it out. Wow, small world. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I literally just started my YouTube channel. Yeah, it was, it was the one where you went camping or something overnight. Yeah, on the island right down there. I was kind of just half paying attention, half doing something, and I was like, that looks like down the creek. Wait, I know that. Because when I leave from here, I go right past your house, I guess. That is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I also shared uh, some of my posts on the uh, Kauai Harbor Facebook group. I saw that the other day. Yeah. Hey, Kyle. What's that? It's Joey. My name's Joey. <laughs> Outdoor Joey. Yeah. Joey Outdoors. I'm uh, actually getting ready to go uh, explore the Brent Cemetery, the Brent Family Cemetery. Where's that at? Um, you go up the creek a little bit, and then you go into that big plot of land behind the Catholic Church. Okay. Um, yeah, just some, I've known it's been there, but I've never been to it, so just want to go check it out. All right. So, hey, nice running into you. Nice running into you, too. All right, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> I don't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm just paddling down the creek, not even a thousand feet past my backyard and I run into a neighbor whom I never met before and he recognized me. Nobody knows me except for friends and family. Um, I have only have like right now 24 subscribers and I go, I'm just paddling along and there's a gentleman sitting up on the hill behind his uh, house working, uh, hammering, working on something. I said, hi and he says, look, it's Joey Outdoors. <laughs> How do you know me, dude? <laughs> this is so cool. Well, hey, if you're watching, man, dude, you really made my day. You really made my day. <laughs> and I hope this video makes your day too. So, uh, you know, shout out back to you. I love this kayak, man. It just glides through the water. <sighs> back into the sunshine. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and here's the same spot where I saw the uh, Blue Heron land. Yeah, I think that was on a Sunday Sunday afternoon. Now it's a Tuesday evening, one month later. Bright and sunny. I still gotta get, get up some more creek. We're docked. Let's go explore. Ooh, we're gonna get ticks. <laughs> No way. Wow. This is a place in Stafford I've never been before. I love exploring. A natural spring. Thirty-seven years before the English settlers, led mainly by Captain John Smith, 
reached the shores of Virginia at Cape Henry on the James River. The first white men to reach this part of the New World set foot upon the shores of Stafford. In February of 1570, a little band of Catholics, two Jesuit priests, three scholastics, three lay brothers, and a little serving boy, Alonso, came up probably from Florida, behind that from Spain, and tried to establish Christianity among the Indians. They landed, records in Spain indicate, somewhere about the Aquia Creek, and probably adventured along that creek to where later was the village of Aquia. They labored to convert the heathen until September of 1570, when, a few at a time as they wandered into the Virginia forest to preach the gospel, they were massacred by the Indians. No reason is known save that they tried to teach the Indians a new doctrine, which the savages were incapable of understanding. And yet the fact that the little serving boy was allowed to go free because he neither preached nor taught is proof that the Indians did not kill wantonly. Alonzo was allowed to go and made his way back to tell the story of the heroic sacrifice of the Spanish Catholics who had set out to convert the inhabitants of an unknown land. The death of the Catholic Jesuits was all but forgotten until after the discovery of the settlement at Aquia told elsewhere when searches brought to light the story of their martyrdom. Then, on the 27th of October, 1935, there was unveiled in their memory in the Aquia Catholic Cemetery a bronze tablet upon which is inscribed. This tablet is inscribed to the memory of the heroic Jesuit missionaries, who coming from Spain to bring Christ's gospel to the Indians in this Aquia Creek region, erected nearby in 1570 AD, the first Christian temple in our northern land. Our Lady of Ahakan, and expressly because of their Christian teachings, or by the natives treacherously slain, Luis de Quiros, priest, Baptista Mendez, and Gabriel de Solis, Scholastics on February 4th, 1571. Juan Baptista de Segura, priest, Cristobal Redondo, scholastic, Padro de Nares, Gabriel Gomez, and Sancho Ceballos, brothers, February 9th, 1571. All of the Society of Jesus, who died joyously as they had lived and labored nobly for the greater glory of God. Nothing is said of little Alonso, the serving boy, but it was he who brought back to Spain the story of their deaths. History broods over the site in Stafford of Aquia, for here is the authentic record of the establishment of the first Christian place of worship in our northern land, the first landing of white man upon the soil of Virginia, or upon any spot north of Florida, and of a sacrifice in the cause of Christianity. This, in itself, should make the site of Aquia hollowed ground, though we do not know the exact spot and can only presume it was where the latter church stood. But to add to the importance of this place upon the upper waters of Aquia Creek, there is the history of its later establishments as the first white cemetery in Virginia and later as the site of the first Episcopal church in Stafford. Well, I have to say, of uh, all the places to be buried in Stafford, this is uh, quite peaceful. I mean, there's the distant hum of 95 traffic, but this is uh, otherwise a very nice, quiet, serene place, and uh, very historical. The Brent family was buried here, and um, very solemn, very nice, uh, quiet resting place. And it makes, you know, I. I don't want to sound grim or anything, but I enjoy visiting cemeteries every so often um, because it helps me reflect on how short and fast life is. And, you know, it's kind of humbling to think that in 100 to 200 years from now, nobody's going to know me, know who I am. I mean, who knows if anything that I've made will be left behind, you know. Do you know anybody um, personally uh, from 100, 200 years ago? Yeah, we have some historical figures, but think about the population today. There's so many people. Only the most important people are going to be remembered.
So I really don't care if I'm remembered by anybody. What I care the most about is uh, that God remembers me and knows me. And I know he does because of his son Jesus. And I have the assurance of eternal life because of what Christ did. And so fame, this world, it's all fleeting. Uh, and so I like to remember that, that old uh, saying, uh, one, one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. So, uh, get living for him. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for joining me. Uh, it's been a fun adventure. I'm going to head back to my kayak and head back home and edit this video hopefully sooner than later. So, if there's anything along the journey, you'll be sure to see it. So I'll keep my cameras rolling. So far I've traveled one, uh, a mile and a quarter by kayak and by walking. I want to follow this trail and see where it goes. Oh wow. Would you look at that. What is this? Candles and trash. Who knows what people are doing back here. Mm. Oh, the spider web. Nice tree. Tick check. Never forget to check yourself for ticks. Come on, I gotta have at least one. Well, we did it. We explored the Brent Family Cemetery in Stafford County. Beautiful, beautiful cemetery, beautiful location. Uh, learned a little bit of history. And just this random after work adventure, I thought, hmm, what am I gonna do on this beautiful day? I just got off work, it's Tuesday. I gotta do something. I was thinking about fishing, but no. I just finished my canoe video, and I figured, well, let's go check out this uh, Brent, let's go check out the cemetery that I noticed on the map. So, there you have it. Anyways, if you like this video, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more adventures, outdoor adventures with me, Joey. And thank you so much for watching.